I'm here to tell you right now. Cause it's you and I. All you miss constantly pulling up. We don't care. Right now. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. What's your name? They call me Oscar. Oscar what? Oscar the Hustle. <laughs> That's what they call me. You ready? What juice I got? Let me see. Never charge your doggone phone. Where you at, goat? You see I'm still hooked up. You know I'm still at the hospital. Girl, I left the hospital. They say you ain't even been there. Now, you know when I go to the hospital, w w which one I go to? You at the vet? Yeah. You love going down there, don't it? You know they always see me over here if you ain't got insurance. But look, what? Don't you know these dogs and stuff over here get fed good over here? I know you lying. Girl, this food is so good over here. That's here. Hold what on. you get to eat? Can, can I get like a two-piece spicy, preferably a breast and a wing? And look, look, make sure this time they put the meat on it. It's a meat on it because yesterday I had dog bones and that probably for the room next door, the German Shepherd. And give me a spray too. Thank you. Have you talked to the insurance people yet? Girl, and cuss them out? No, what you cuss them out for? Cause they trying to sell it out. Gonna tell my son they'll give me one fifty. A hundred and fifty thousand. Girl, you dumb. You better take that. Girl, calm down. I'm talking about a hundred and fifty dollars. I still would have took that. And that's why you went in the wreck with me right there. Why are they trying to give you that little bit? Tell my my car won't worth that much. Tell my it was a junkyard car. I say I don't care if it was a Flintstone car. It got me from point A to point B. I know that's right, cause you love that little ugly car. What else they said? Tell my they'll give me one fifty five. You better take that baby. Baby, I, I told him, I say, don't worry about it. I say you'll be hearing from Willie Stevens. They gonna say, Well, we'll give you I say Willie Stevens. Would you sell it out for Willie Stevens? That's the only thing I speak. I know that's right, but look, you think it's too late for me to come up there and act like I was in the wreck with you so I can get some money? There go that screen again. Nah, I know it ain't messed up. I see your big old fat tail breathing. Call my job and tell him I've been in the accident, baby. Baby, I'm finna call Willie Stevens now. He got. Y'all know we're gonna be busy today. Make, make sure you put a dollar seventy-five cent in the tank. Big Duke and Funeral Home, where we make your loved one last minute be unforgettable. We do not accept checks. Don't ask us because we will cuss you out. This Keisha, what up, pimp? I'm calling because I need to make a complaint. Hold on. Hold on a minute. This dog on good hair in my face. Hold on a minute. What? What's the family name? Big Feet. You, big Feet as in Big Toes. B-I-G-F-E-E. -E. Oh, I thought you said big feet. Okay, now what's the problem? Okay, the first problem is... Hold on a minute. Sit down. The first problem, why the family didn't have a car? Okay, you should have talked to your niece because I already told your niece that before she went with us. I told her that y'all got to find a ride down there. We don't have a funeral car. Okay, I'm glad he did deliver the body. Not in the casket. Okay, once again, you need to talk with your niece. We told your niece we don't have a funeral car. Is you listening? We don't have a funeral car. Y'all was y'all was responsible to get the casket. One of our guys drove the body in the car with him down there. So don't lie on us like that. Now, now what else? You need to you need to read your brochure, baby. Reading is fundamental. You need to read that. And that's the main reason I said we need to go to Miss Jones Funeral Service. Okay, okay. What's wrong with Miss Dookie Funeral Home? Everything from the prices to the service. What what's wrong with the prices? First, let's start with the service. Y'all don't even have a website, and then y'all open one day. Okay. And then y'all want to charge somebody twenty four hundred dollars for cremation? Uh, don't lie on us. Don't lie on us. Don't lie on us. We do not charge no $2,400. We charge $2,399. Don't, don't lie on us like that. It don't matter. I'm still... <laughs>
that's why. What I got on my head? This. No. Come here. Tell me how you don't understand English in home ed. Because I never took the class. Give me here. Before. Give me the doggone book. Because you act like you can't doggone read. Give me here. The words ain't that doggone hard. You just got to pronounce the word. A as in academic. Academic. That's what's happening in the world. Now listen up. You understand me? Sixth grade reading ain't that hard. Why you running around here talking about you a savage? You need to be passing. Hmm. Acting stupid. What's happening? You a savage, but you ain't passing. <laughs> Hold on now. This word. Mm -mm. You know what? This your work. Do it. Your teacher gave it to you. You do your own dog on work. Y'all to pay attention in class. You got it. You a savage, remember? <laughs> Turn your light on. You know I got some gossip for you, baby. Billy, baby. So tell me why. Where you at? Down here at Big Dookie Home Health Care. Oh, okay. Okay, so Timmy, you already know I've been telling Big Dookie don't sign me up with them old women's no more. Old as an auntie. Mm-hmm. Okay, he gonna sign me up with her. Now, this little thing gonna get up in here and tell me, listen, you gonna learn how to shut your mouth and listen to me. I say, hold on, baby. I say, hold on a minute. I say, let me tell you something. I'm the type of person I would knock your head, clean off your doggone shoulders. Don't do me. Girl, did you really say that? Girl, no, I was thinking about it. Didn't I tell you? I say, come to Big Heart Home Health Care. I know the lady that owned it. We real cool. What's what's the lady's name? Tamika Shelburne. You think you could put in a good word for me? Girl, yeah. Hold on, I think that's them. Nah, I want you to tell me what happened, though. Baby, she had me going all across the world and then gonna pick up two of her friends. Talking about they got to get their stuff filled out. I say, I hope they got some gas money. See, that's what I'm talking about. Them old women be doing too much, and they know that. Where you at now? Sitting outside the doggone bingo hall. Now, you know I'm sick of this. You might well go on in there and holler bingo. B3. Y'all need to hurry up. Is that the one you watching? That's the other one, her friend right there. Here they come right now. Here they come. And I'm sure finna tell them off, baby. I ain't playing with them. Come on, y'all. Y'all get in. Uh, before we uh go home, we need to make another stop at the other bingo hall. Because we ain't win nothing on this one. That's how y'all need to go. Uh, you need to tell them to get their old nasty tail from out of there. I'm gonna call you back. I have another one. Yeah, she gonna gonna follow me. Now. I'm coming with you. With you. Come here. What the? Ow. Hold your head down. Uh, come here. Come here. Huh? Come here. That's why. What I got on my head? This. Come here.